With the fight in 1813 and the retreat of the British forces, what saved the British was a combination of their own ability and the American lack of ability. The American commanders were still political appointees. One of them had gotten his job because his uncle was governor of Maryland. And these men are now a little nervous. The retreat had gone too well. The British were falling back in two in order. There was a concern that they could potentially be led into a trap. And so the American advance, despite many of the junior officers feeling they had the British on the ropes, they had them on the run, they slowed, they stopped, and they encamped along the creek ready for the night. Their camp was laid out haphazard, their campfires laid out wherever, which provided a perfect backlight for anybody approaching at night to be able to see them. Now, as the battle winds down, as I mentioned earlier, the purpose of reenacting is not to celebrate the violence. We understand that the people we are representing fought and fell on fields like these, and on many fields like these, many of them still lay here. And we understand that immensely. So it's a tradition amongst the reenactors that after engagement, uh, we play a lament for those who fought and fell on the field that we so recently had reenacted upon. So during the playing the lament, I ask that you please remove your caps for the play. Thank you.